do novo trailer de Evil Isle, um game online de investigação social, no qual os jogadores devem descobrir quem é o assassino escondido entre os cidadãos de uma pequena cidade. O título será lançado ainda este ano, sem uh, data, para contador na Steam. Take on one of the many roles Evil has to offer you, such as the seer, trapper, or guard, along with other possible roles to aid you. Work together with the other townsfolk to root out the evil that lurks in the shadows. Gather at the center of town and share your accusations with the others. Once accused, place your votes and throw the convicted in the cage to be judged. Be sure not to wrongly accuse someone, because if you are wrong... Hey, are you even listening? Can't you see what's happening right now? Someone is literally on fire! On with you! Go! Go! Go buy a tripwire for your house or a lock for your door! <clears throat> Now, where were we? Take on quests to restore order and explore areas like the fortress ruins to gather resources you need to craft items like protection potions, antidotes, or even a vial of deadly poison. As night falls over evil, chaos will roam its streets. Without protection, you may fall victim to those who roam the night. If you're lucky enough to be woken up, run for as long as you can and hope they don't catch you. If you survive the night, hurry to the town center. Share with the others what you saw. With careful thinking and a little luck, you'll be able to discover and rid of the murderers who plague the town of evil. But death is not the end in evil. If you are unlucky enough to face an untimely death, you'll awaken into the underworld. A new world for you to explore. Being dead and evil does not mean you are left to watch the living continue on with their days. Your new world is filled with new adventures and spirits that need your help. Revisit the world of the living and help out these lost souls while your fellow villagers fight for their lives. Helping these spirits will reward you with spirit tokens. This currency allows you to learn new abilities to help and alter the fate of the living. It is up to you how you want to help out the other players. Awaken an endangered citizen to save them from death. Lend them some coins or heal them to get the upper hand. Being among the dead no longer counts you out of the fate of the town of evil. So the question is, what will you do amongst the dead? Ghost Lore, mais um jogo anunciado, é um RPG isométrico no qual o jogador controla um caçador de fantasmas. O jogo, será, uh, o jogo já está disponível em acesso antecipado, claro, no computador via Steam. no evento um novo trailer de OFX, um jogo de estratégia e defesa de torres ambientado em um mundo de fantasia obscura. O jogo será ainda lançado este ano para computador via Steam. O main castle falls, it means the kingdom is lost. If you manage to defeat every wave of orcs, it means you live to fight another day. You will have some troops of your own, but you can't rely on them to defeat the orcs. You will always be outnumbered. So the only reliable way to get rid of them is to build some more castles. To build something, you need to pick a card from your hand and place it on a map. Be strategic about it. You should always consider from which direction the orcs are planning to attack this time. A castle consists of several parts, so you would need more than one card to complete it. Build it as large as you want! A finished castle can be upgraded with runes, 
additional towers, and special buildings to make it shoot faster, deal more damage, or even get the new type of attack. The more castles you have, the more chances for you to repel the next wave of enemies. There are some mysterious structures on the map. Those are the vaults. If you complete its quest, it may reward you with some new cards you can add to your deck. Deck building is an essential part of orcs. You'll get the chance to upgrade certain cards, slowly creating a perfect deck that will suit your playstyle. Two campaigns won't ever feel the same, thanks to the roguelike nature of the game. If you fail, you can always try again, but this time with new cards in the starting deck. Or you can try out one of the other factions, each with a unique playstyle. So good luck to you, your majesty. I would wish you a long reign, but let's keep it real. I can already hear the orcs approaching. Bavarian. O jogo é um simulador de batalha rápida com espadas que será lançado em breve. Certain Destroy é um jogo de ação baseado em turnos no qual o jogador e alguns amigos online ou locais podem destruir hordas sobrenaturais com armas encontradas no mapa do jogo. O jogo será disponível para o computador via Steam. Ninja or Die é um jogo com visual pixel art, no qual os jogadores controlam um ninja que deve fatiar vários inimigos. O título será lançado em 2023. Velvet Meteor. O título é uma aventura tática na qual os jogadores controlam o Damien, um garoto que precisa lidar com a ansiedade e stress após se mudar para uma nova casa. 